All right, welcome back everyone to part two of the MySSP program overview. In the first video, we went over what the MySSP program is, how you can access it, how you can benefit from it. Uh, and then the second part of the video, we're gonna focus on the companion app, which is called the MySSP app. Uh, this is the easiest way to access the program. It's the main gateway to the program. And today we're gonna go over that app in detail, step by step. So hopefully by now you have downloaded the MySSP app. If you haven't already, go to your Apple App Store or your Google Play Store and type in the word my and the letters SSP. You'll be looking for a teal blue logo just like you see on your screen in front of you and go ahead and download that right away. As soon as you download the app, launch it and you're gonna be asked to set up your profile. It's important to do this step because you won't be able to gain access to the program without doing this step. So go ahead and enter your first name, your last name, the language you would like the app to work in, and then of course your country of origin and your school name. Review those privacy agreements and then go ahead and click complete setup. All right, so I hope everyone is at that point. Uh, so now we're gonna go through the app in detail. So I have in front of you what the app looks like when you launch it. Now for some of you, your school may have a customized version of this app. So don't worry if you enter in your school name and all of a sudden the colors and the logo change into your school's colors and your school's logo, that's because your school has customized the app. But the content itself is always gonna be the same. So what I'm showing you today is gonna to be the same content that you're gonna see. So whenever you open up the app for the first time, you're always gonna be on this explore tab, okay? This explore tab has several different categories of content. So we have COVID-19 support that has all sorts of articles, infographics, and videos on content related to COVID-19. We have a featured category where our editors go through and feature various pieces of content. So feel free to navigate through this. You'll find all sorts of different pieces of media, such as videos, webinars, articles, et cetera. Then we also have student life, health, living away, and finally relationships. Now the great thing with the MySSP app is you can easily find all of this content by just searching for it with various keywords. So for example, if I enter in the keyword anxiety, what the app's gonna do is it's gonna pull up any article that has the keyword anxiety in it. Pretty neat, eh? In addition to all of the articles, videos, infographics, and webinar content that we have in here, we also have free assessment tools. So these are not only free, but they're anonymous. So when you answer these assessment tools, because really what they are is a series of questions uh, for you to better help uh, to understand some of these subjects, such as depression, general anxiety, drug use, and alcohol use. So feel free to, to assess your mental health. It's completely anonymous. Uh, you just need to click take assessment, and then you'll be brought through a series of questions. At any point, you can click the back button and you'll go right back to the MySSP app. And again, they're completely anonymous. So the answers that you put in these assessments, they're not stored anywhere in your profile or anywhere in the app. So for that matter, if you exit out of the assessment and come back into the assessment, it's gonna restart. It's always gonna start at the beginning. The next thing you can do in the MySSP app is you can contact a counselor. So you have two ways to contact a counselor. You can chat with a counselor right here in the app in a secure environment, or you can call a counselor using our toll-free number in Canada and US, as well as our international number elsewhere in the world. So that means it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can always access the My SSP program. Within the more section here, this is where you can edit your settings. So one of the first things you did when you set up your profile is you chose your language. If ever you wanna change your language to, to one of our many other core languages, you can do that right here. The great thing about this app is that if I change the language, everything in the app changes into that language. All of the content, all of the buttons, and even if I reach out to chat with a counselor, I'm gonna be doing it in the language that I selected the app to work in. Pretty cool. You can also turn on and off notifications. I would highly recommend that you leave the notifications on because that's our way of reminding you that the support exists over the academic year. 
trust me, things are going to get busy. You're going to forget about this program and you're going to be struggling and stressing out. Mm -hmm. And how great would it be to have a counselor right there in your pocket? So leave these notifications on so we can gently remind you every couple of weeks about the program, as well as remind you when we add new content. And if we add new languages to the program, you'll be given a notification about that as well. If ever you need to update your profile details, you can do that right here, including your phone number, your school name, your country of origin, etc. If your school has a customized app, then you'll notice in this section, you'll also have school resources. These are dedicated web links that have been self-selected by your school to display to you in this app to make things easy for you. So it's kind of one-stop shop. All right, let's take a look at what it's like when we reach out and talk to a counselor. So as I said, we have two options. We can chat with a counselor or we can call a counselor. Let's see what it's like when we chat a counselor first. So hit the chat bubble in the top corner, or you can go into contact and hit chat right there. Now, for those of you doing this for the first time, you'll have red X's on all three of these items. I have green check marks because I've gone through it already. So you got to read the chat description, read the privacy agreement, and then finally enter in some of those other personal details that you saw I had, but you may have not had as you just set up the app. So the other personal details that they're asking for is your phone number, your date of birth, and your gender. Go ahead and put that in and hit save. Now, whether you're calling in or you're chatting in with a counselor, we always ask, are you in an emergency or not? It's an important answer and an important question to answer. In the case of the chat, we're asking, do you have reason to believe there is risk of harm or violence to you or anyone else at this time? You need to answer yes or no to that question and then hit start chat. Now immediately you're notified that this is a live chat environment. If you get any notifications, text message, or otherwise, if you get a phone call, you're going to be kicked out of the chat. And that's just based on the technology. It can only handle one thing at a time. So if you switch to a different application or you answer a phone call to protect your privacy, the conversation will disconnect in the chat and you'll have to reestablish a connection with another counselor afterwards. So it's very important to stay in this app so long as you're chatting with the counselor. Go ahead and click OK. So now I'm in the queue, I'm waiting to speak with a counselor, and I'm next to the queue. It's that easy and that fast to start texting with a counselor. Next, you can call in and speak with a counselor. So if you want to chat with a counselor over the phone versus over chat, or maybe you're looking for other language supports, you can absolutely call in 24 seven, any time of the day or night, and you can reach out and talk to a counselor over the phone. I should note that chatting with a counselor is only within the core languages that you see here in the app. So English, French, Spanish, Korean, Arabic, and then simplified Chinese, which is either Mandarin or Cantonese in written form. If you want to talk to a counselor in one of those languages or many, many other languages, that's when you wanna call in and speak with a counselor. You can call in by clicking the button right there, or you can click the phone button anywhere else in the app. The first thing you're gonna be asked is where you are in the world. Are you in Canada or US, or are you somewhere else? If you're somewhere else, it will be an international number that does have charges. So when you call in and you're speaking to the counselor, make that known that you're calling internationally, and we'll call you right back so that you're not incurring any of those toll charges. For those of you calling in within Canada and the US, it's a toll free number, it's not going to cost you anything. So go ahead and click the number. And then the app wants to launch a phone call through your phone. So immediately once you launch the phone call, you're going to be met by a couple automated menus. First, it's going to ask you whether you want the menu in English or French. Then it's going to ask you, are you in an emergency or not? If you are in an emergency, you're going to be routed to the first available English speaking counselor. If you're not in an emergency, then you're going to be asked what language you would like to speak to the initial intake clinical care representative in. And it's going to be one of those core languages that you just experienced in the MySSP app. So you'll self-select whether you want the intake counselor to be in English, French, Spanish, Korean, Mandarin, Cantonese, or Arabic. 
Once you're speaking to that intake clinical care representative, their job is to understand a little bit about what you're going through, and then they wanna know exactly what language and culture you need to be matched with. And then they're gonna quickly get you matched with a counselor as quick as they possibly can. As I said before, the support is completely unlimited in this program. So you can call in as many times as you want to speak with a counselor. When you're speaking with a counselor, there are gonna be cases where the counselor will recommend to meet with you on an ongoing basis. Maybe what you're talking about is a little bit more uh, heavy than one conversation can handle. So this is where you and the counselor will work out a schedule together in terms of how to meet. It'll be over the phone or through video chat or under normal circumstances, in-person support is also available. During the COVID-19 pandemic, unfortunately, the in-person support has been pulled back. So video support and phone support is currently available for ongoing support. And like I said before, you can meet with this counselor as many times as you need to. The counselor is gonna work with you until that goal has been met, until you're feeling better about the situation, really. So there you have it. That's a nice overview of all the different tools, all the different resources that you have at your fingertips when you download that MySSP app onto your smartphone or onto your smart device. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your academic advisors or your international office. They have all the resources in front of them, but if they need a little bit extra help, they'll be sure to get in touch with me. So thanks so much for joining me today. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you have a great academic year and download that MySSP app and reach out anytime you need to. Take care, everyone.